Hey guys, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be an update of a video. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, what are you doing with your life? No, I'm just playing. Um, actually, if you follow me on Instagram, then you're a real one because I post on there about once a month. I, I said, you know, 2018, I'm trying to get better. I really am trying, but you know, if you don't, I understand why you don't. But if you do, then you saw me unbox a package that I received in the mail. And basically what I said was, would you guys like me to try out these products for either three months or until they all ran out? And then, you know, me do a big video letting you know what I think was the best, what was the worst. And a lot of you said yes, so I sat down. Not, that's what I was going to do. But um, we're going to have to cut that short, like way short, because this product has really just came from my life. And I don't know how to feel about it, so I need to get this video out of the way so I can be done with it. So if you want to know what Glam Glow has done to my skin in the last month and a half, then just stay tuned. So like I said, I received this package in the mail. I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, put that down there ever so gently and when I opened it there were six of the infamous glam glow mask in there and I was really excited because I've only ever tried two masks from them which I'll get to the irony of that later on so when I saw all six again like I said I thought you know it'd be cool to test them all out and you know do a big video where I say what worked for me what didn't and all of that now I don't want anyone to think I was putting six masks on my face at once I was doing what they call multi-masking where I would um use multiple masks on my face at the same time but just in areas where i needed it so if it was a hydrating mask i would use it in an area of my face that needed hydrating and if it was in exfoliating mask i would use it in an area of my face that i wanted to exfoliate while i had the hydrating mask on my face i hope you're sticking with me there so um i'm actually really upset that i didn't take a before video or picture like before I started using you know any of the six on my face however I received this on March 7th and on March 3rd I posted my skincare routine so you know I posted what I was using on my skin before well obviously before these glam glow masks but I posted what I was using on my skin on a you know routine basis every night so I will insert a little video clip somewhere around here of what my skin looks like pretty much four days before I started using these masks One notification didn't go off. Would it? so that is what my face looks like four days before I started using these masks and March 7th the day that I got them I started using them and you can look at videos that I posted between March 7th and March 17th and you can see you know a little build up to the breakout issue that I'm about to get into you can see some little spots here and there on my face but March 17th is when I really realized like no there's there's an issue here um, if some of you remember I spoke on a panel in DC March 17th and when I got back from that panel I just looked at my face and I was like I have not had a breakout like this since my proactive days and I'm not talking about days when I was actually you know proactive I was fit or anything like that I'm talking about the days where I was using proactive on my skin because like that's how bad my acne was which was back in middle school you know when you start hitting puberty and your face is just like I don't know what's going on with your life at this point so I'm just gonna go crazy those days when I was using proactive that's how bad my face was that March 17th and I really had to stop and think to myself because if you guys saw my tweets that day I didn't wear makeup to the panel because I forgot my makeup bag here in New York so when I thought about it, I hadn't worn makeup for three or four days, somewhere around there when I finally realized what my face was starting to look like. So I'm thinking, okay, it can't be like a makeup product that I tried that isn't working with my skin because I haven't been wearing makeup. Um, and then I thought, you know, I posted my skincare routine. That's all stuff that I've been using for months. So what's going on with my face? And then I realized, mm, okay, the only new thing that I have been doing to my face are these masks. And this mask in particular was the last one that I had tried before I realized you know what was going on with my face so I said okay you know I'm just gonna I'm gonna cool on you I'm just gonna put you down there and we're just gonna keep moving forward with the other five masks right so I stopped using that green one and then the next mask day came and it was time for me to try or to use this mask so I used this one woke up the next day I'm still seeing some breakouts like I have new breakouts on my face so now I'm thinking okay well are you the culprit that's been causing the breakouts you know should I have not stopped using the green one or is it you two in collaboration that's doing this to my face so I'm thinking okay I'm gonna cut both of you off I'm just gonna keep moving on with the other four so move forward we get to the next mask day and um, 
I was using, ooh, almost dropped them and these are heavy. Um, I was using both of these masks together. Like these were the two that I was multi-masking with. I only ever had two masks on my face at one point. Um, so I used both of these and guess what happened? You know, like literally the next day after I tried them. So I was like, all right, let me just wait what, what's going on here. Um, as you can tell, you know, I broke out again after using those two masks. So now I'm thinking, okay, what, what is going on here? So I posted this picture right here as a sort of one month update as to what these masks have been doing to my face. And you know, everyone does a little editing to their pictures. You know, y'all saw what's on my iPhone, so I'm not even gonna lie. But in this picture, obviously I couldn't edit my skin because that was the point of the picture. If you guys seen what my face looks like, but when I was editing everything else, like the background or everything else in the picture, I saw my skin and I just had to pause because I was like, wait a minute, what is going on with my skin? So I went back to any video that I posted between March 7th and you know whatever that day was that I posted that Instagram picture and I'll start you know inserting like little pictures of my skin throughout that time and I was just like something is wrong with my skin right now now I know some people are firm believers in purging and you know your skin has to purge when you're trying a new skincare product because that's showing that the product is working and getting all, all of the gunk out of your face I'm not one of those believers I don't feel like I need to sit through 50 breakouts on my face just to prove a new product is working when I could just not use that product and my face was fine beforehand. So I, you know, sat down and I really thought, okay, I want to, you know, use these products and see what's going on, but I also don't want to continue breaking out. And the irony that I was talking about before is the only two masks that actually work on my face are the two masks that I've actually tried before. I don't know, you know, all these years that I saw the other masks and I never tried them, maybe that was my brain trying to tell me like, they're not for you, boo. But these two are the only ones that I can actually use on my face and they're the only ones that I've actually ever bothered to purchase before. Um, so I had to completely stop using the other four. So it's been about two weeks, I wanna say, since I completely stopped using those four. And this is what my face is looking like. This is the side of the face that you can see in that Instagram picture. And let me just, you know, go ahead and throw in the other side of my face so you can see how that is looking after two weeks of not using them compared to the other pictures that I just inserted. Now you might be thinking like, so what was it that was breaking you out? And I honestly believe the fragrance in these masks are just too strong for my face. I do have combo oily sensitive skin with some dry patches like that's the most specific way i can describe what type of skin i have and i think the fragrance in all of them is just way too strong for my face which is why i was breaking out with all of them um all six of them have you know a, a strong type of fragrance but i don't know what it is about those four it's just too much for my face now although these did break me out horribly i do feel like i noticed some things about each of these good and bad some of them just bad and some of them do have some specific type of you know instructions on using them that i could tell all of you that you know a fragrance is something that you don't have to worry about you know you don't have sensitive skin and you want to check some of these out i can let you know like whether i think it's worth spending the $60 I believe these used to be $70 but I think they reduced the price of the masks that are this size to 60 and if you want like the mega size that is now 70 or 80 I'll have the correct pricing on the screen somewhere but starting out with the dual cleanse treatment um do I think this is worth your time no I don't this is a um, cleansing treatment it says it's supposed to you know take the gunk and all that stuff out of your face you know um, clean your pores all of that stuff I really just feel like this sits on your face I don't feel like it does anything I wait the time that it tells me to wait and then I wash it off and I look at my face and I'm like you look like how you looked about 20 minutes ago and you still feel the same way so I, I would pass on that one however this black one the tingle exfoliate treatment I feel is this but just on crack you know this one is um it, you know it's supposed to exfoliate and it's supposed to you know clean all those stuff out of your face as well um but I think the thing is this one um it's it's more abrasive so I think that's why I said you know it's just like that on crack where this one is more so the, the probably the chemicals or the ingredients that are in this green one that are supposed to you know clean your face and you know rid your face of all of that stuff where the black one like that's one of the ones where you can feel it you know it's going to you know scratch and that's the wrong I'm gonna use here against your skin and you can like kind of feel um, it exfoliating your face and I believe even in the description ow, 
of the green one, it says, let's see, what does that say there? Yeah, it says deep cleansing yet gentle results. So um, I feel like that's really the main difference between those two. So I would say, you know, if you want something that's really just going to clean your face out, then um, go with the black over the green. I'm just gonna refer to them as colors because like, I know you can't expect me to remember the exact names of all six of these while I talk about them, you know, back and forth. So I would say, you know, go with the black one over the green one. However, this, it probably exfoliates your skin so good, that's why it burns a layer of your skin off. Because when I say this burns your face, again, I have sensitive skin, this burns your face. Now I've tried the Peter Thomas Roth Irish Mud Mask and I thought that burned, but I feel like as time went on with that one, like my skin just kind of got used to it. My skin did not get used to this every time I tried this on. You're only supposed to leave this on for like 10 minutes, but that was the most painful 10 minutes of my life every time I tried it on. So again, I do think this, besides the fact that it broke me out, um, does what it's says it's going to do. I do feel like it will, you know, exfoliate your skin. Your skin will look, you know, kind of brand new. Maybe that's because there's a whole new layer of your face on there. But um, I'm just putting that out there for anyone who does have sensitive skin that, and probably even if you don't have sensitive skin, because that's just how much this thing burns. Um, it's going to burn when you put this on. The blue one is the hydrating treatment and I was really excited for this one because I do have, like I mentioned, dry patches. So when I was multi-masking, this is where I was putting the blue one anywhere that I had dry patches, which is usually here above my eye, usually, which is here above my eyebrows and then around my nose area. Um, I don't feel like this did much of anything. Maybe it's because like those are just, you know, dry patches instead of having like literally like a whole face that's dry skin but I don't feel like my those areas are really even like anywhere that this touched my face was any more hydrated after this so do I think it was worth it for the 60 or 70 dollars I would pass on that. Orange is the brightening treatment and I would actually recommend this one except you know to the obvious. Um, I really feel like this actually did brighten my skin and let me just point that out there before anyone tries it. Brightening does not mean bleaching. There's a difference between wanting to brighten your skin which is going to give you like a glowy from within type of look. You know the reason that people use concealer that's like three times lighter than they are so they can have that bright under eye look. Um, yeah this is what you would use so that you could naturally have that. Maybe then you could just use like one concealer shade that's a little bit lighter than you. So this I was using in my t-zone area so basically anywhere I would put concealer to get like that brightened under eye look I was using this just so I could have that naturally bleaching is literally like I'm bleaching my skin for it to be a lighter color um just just putting that out there I actually feel like I did see this area of my face looking a little bit more glowy and that's how I feel influencers really know if something's working because their audience starts commenting that in the comments you guys start commenting you know if your skin looks glowy, you look um, more dewy-ish, you know, just before I even put makeup on, you know, I even got that are you pregnant comment. I am not, sis. I, I responded back to your comment, but then you just put that out there again. I am not. Um, so I really do feel like, you know, this actually did something, so I'm kind of sad that I can't use it anymore, but I do feel like if you bought this one, it would actually do what you wanted it to do. Moving on to the two masks that I've actually done videos on, the purple one is the firming treatment. Um, this is the peel off one, so you'll put it on your face. You guys have probably seen it. Um, it'll turn gray on your face, I mean silver, or they had a blue option before, I believe, or was that purple, somewhere around there. Basically, you put this on your face, leave it on for, I believe, 30 minutes, and then peel it off, and it's supposed to, you know, do that firming treatment to your face, your, your under eyes, your smile lines, any like fine lines, wrinkles, all of that stuff. I have used this before and I do feel like if you use this on a consistent basis, you will see some results on your face. You know, I don't think it's going to give you a full facelift in a jar, but I do feel like your face will look a little bit firmer. I haven't been using it as consistent lately, but I do feel like, you know, I did just use this last night, especially when you first take it off and even the next morning after, it does give you a nice firmer look to your face. So I feel like, you know, it'd be nice to use nights before you have any type of special occasion or anything like that. Do I think it's worth the $60 that it's for? This is the one out of the six, I would say, um, if you did want to get it, get it as like a splurge 
type of purchase or you know a gift to yourself type of purchase i i feel like you know will life go on if i never use this again yes it would but do i think it's nice to have this and to use this you know on occasions where i need it or if i just want to use it consistently and see some little some improvements improvements to my face yes and last but not least it is the glam glow mask that has probably been talked about the most the one mask that most of you have probably already tried it is their white clearing treatment now i believe even back then in the video that i did on this i said that i would only use this mask as a spot treatment i would not use this mask on my entire face i used to do that and it dried my face out i feel like a lot of people have said that you know about it drying your face off you use it on your entire face on your entire face do i think it'd be worth it to get this mask probably not you know it might do a little bit more damage than it does good if you use it on your entire face but do i think this is worth it as a spot treatment mask i absolutely do i've been through full sizes of this mask i've been through trial sizes if anything i'm always on sephora's website like y'all got new mini size you know travel sizes of this because even the travel size will last you um a decent amount of time if you're only using it to spot treat any type of uh breakout that you have and if you don't know what i'm what i'm saying when i say spot treat basically i only put this mask on any type of breakout so i have one that's right here so i would put it here and this is great for just sucking the life out of the acne on your face it gets like everything that's in there out so i'm you're not gonna wake up and your breakout is gone the next morning but it'll drastically reduce the amount of time that your acne would be there on your face i absolutely love this mask and i'm thinking that although this and the purple one do have fragrances um they're not as strong as the other four i don't know if that is you know purposely done or not but um I think that's the only reason I'm still able to use these two but honestly if you could only get one out of the six I would recommend the white one but um you know there there's some other you know some other little gems in there you might want to give a chance to however you know I'm going to stick to what I know you know stick to the lakes and the rivers that I'm used to and put those two to the side and we're just gonna we're just gonna have to move on from these other four and you know it kind of sucks if they're sixty dollars each then that's two forty in skincare in front of me that I can't use maybe my mom will want it um but you know the the part that sucks the most is that I literally days before I started using these um I had posted a skincare routine that was working for me you know my skin was probably the best it had been at that point and then you know now I have to deal with the aftermath of these masks and the irony again is that that skincare routine kind of doesn't work anymore i mean i pretty much still use the same things but i had to change cleansers and i had to throw in some other mask in there to kind of you know help and i do still like i said use this white one kind of help get rid of the acne so it's just just kind of like more more work had came out of this than you know going into it so it's, it's ironic so that is it for this video i hope seeing my experience with these masks has helped if you ever wanted to try one of these out let me know if you have tried any of these out and had the same experience or a different one um let us know if there are any dupes you guys have found out there to glam glow masks affordable same price doesn't matter just let us know if it works and doesn't break you out um make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching and i will see you on the next one bye